Today I'm going to show you how to incorporate technology into a book bento. The technology that we are going to be working with is Google Slides and the website ThingLink. A book bento can be used at the end of reading a novel in class or it can be used as an outside reading project. This assignment is great for teaching theme, symbolism, and inferencing. A book bento is basically a collage for a book. The student will place the book in the center and then surround it with different objects they feel are representative of the book. There are two options for completing a book bento. The first one is using the app version of ThingLink and their phone. This way they can create the collage themselves, take a picture with their phone and upload it into the app ThingLink and create from there. Another option for them is to create their book bento using Google Slides. If they were to do it in Google Slides, this is what it could look like. I've created one for the Crucible by Arthur Miller. You can include pictures and text. Once they're done creating their book bento, they will click on File, Download, and save it as a JPEG image. They must save it as a JPEG image to use it in ThingLink. ThingLink is a great way to add depth to a book bento. It's a way to make it look less cluttered by adding depth also at the same time. What they do is they take their book bento and they can add different tags to it. These tags can be different kinds of media. They can be text. And it's a great way for you to customize your project. You can have require them to put a quote for every picture that ties it to the book. You could have them pick a song for every picture that they feel is representative of the book, or they could place uh, links to different websites if they choose to do so. And they can write summaries and write descriptions on how the picture is representative of the book. So there's lots of different options that you can do through ThingLink. So on this one, I have this tag that takes you to the movie trailer for The Crucible. Up here, we have a tag that has wording and then another tag that has a quote for the book. The way that you use ThingLink is you upload your picture to the website and you start adding your tags. Click on add tag. It pulls up your options. You can add text and media. You can add a text label or you can add content from a website. I'm going to choose add a text label. You can then change your icons to whatever you wish. I'm going to go ahead and pick a book. And I'm going to write a description. When you're done typing, you click on the done button. It puts the tag there in the center, and then you can drag it and place it wherever you wish on the on the picture. So I'm going to put it right there. And that is how you create a book bento using the technology ThingLink and Google Slides.